start broadcast here in YouTube Live. Now I just need to go to our webinar app and hit go live there as well. And we are live. Please refresh the page. Again, we are live. Please refresh the page. Um, let us know when you can see us and hear us. Again, everyone here, let us know when you can see us and hear us. Um, I ask this because I actually had a terrible experience once upon a time. Jess, ever told you about this? Maybe. So yeah. it was one of my first ever webinars, and I thought it was going so well. And then I hopped back into the chat after 10 minutes and everyone's saying, oh, Cameron, you're sharing the wrong screen. Your microphone is broken, all this stuff. So now I ask at the beginning. Oh, my god! And Krista and Brian and everyone else are saying that they can see and hear us. All right, phew. OK. <laughs> so hey, everyone. I'm Cameron. I'm Jess. And really excited for today's webinar. Um, now that you guys can see and hear us OK, can you also let us know where you're tuning in from? I mean, we get people from almost every continent, yeah, except get, for Antarctica. Well, we get people from four, five, even six different continents here. You're right that nobody from Antarctica. But let us know in the chat where you're tuning in from. I think that some people were doing this a little bit before. Uh, we had some people from Portugal, from Montreal, from London, UK, Chicago, Brooklyn, Belgium. Oh, I was just in Belgium recently. <laughs> Um, New Zealand, Oregon, Ontario, another Canadian. Oh, nice. Represent. <laughs> St. Pete, Florida. All right, great. So a good amount of diversity, South Africa. South Africa. All right. Awesome. And yeah, this is great. I mean, really, this is also just to give the last minute stragglers some time to come in. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to share my screen. And one more time, I want you guys just to let me know if you can see and still hear me. We should be good. You should see a beautiful website. I'm sorry, will I switch my mic around? And we're good to go. Everyone can see it all right. I think we're good. All right, so guys, today I'm really excited to say we're doing our seven steps to launching your profitable online course workshop. Now, this is probably one of my favorite workshops to do because it's not just us giving you tips on what you could do or theory or things that we think might work. At Teachable, we have a bit of an unfair advantage because we have access to so much hard data from all of our instructors, all of our schools to really see, okay, what are the people that are successful on our platform? What are they doing? And then how can you do that as well? So that's what we're going to go through today. We're not holding anything back. And this workshop is going to be perfect for you. If you're a blogger, a creative, a freelancer, maybe you're a consultant. Maybe you're looking to grow your audience and your credibility, or maybe you want to grow your business, but help a lot of people and just make an impact. Now, I'm very curious if you already have a school in Teachable, tell me what it is in the chat, type in the chat and let me know. Now, if you are just getting started and you don't have anything, I would love to know what ideas do you have? Do you know maybe the topic that you're thinking of? Um, definitely type it into the chat. And again, guys, whatever you're teaching online, yeah, I think you'll be able to do that on Teachable. Uh, when I first started Teachable, I thought that the only thing people taught online was computer science. But since starting here, I found that people are teaching everything under the sun from you know astrology to zoology, literally from A to Z. So again, type into the chat, let me know what you're going to be teaching on Teachable, or if you already have a school, let me know what it is. I, I just love seeing the diversity of topics here. Uh, in fact, we actually just saw someone with a launch that did $20,000 all about RVs. Mm. And Santhers are coming in right now. We're seeing holistic solutions for diabetes, oh, wow. job search and interviewing tips. So already some great diversity here, guys. Um, oh, major guidance solutions, acupressure, personal finance. Mm. Awesome. Thanks so much for sharing. This is great, guys. All right. So my big promise to you, and I don't make promises that I can keep, is that in the next 60 minutes, you are going to learn the entire seven step process for launching a profitable online course. Now, there's a lot of information in this workshop. So please promise me you're going to take some notes. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever done this. Let me know in the chat. Cam, maybe you have. I'll go to workshops or conferences or I'll look at webinars and I'll get a ton of value, but I won't take any notes. And as soon as I leave, no matter how good it was, it's like I was never even there and I cannot remember a thing. So please promise me you will take some notes. Handwritten notes are the best as well. Now let's, oh, yep. And a quick tech tip 
Um, before, before we go on, a quick tech tip. If you are seeing anything be blurry or hard to read or out of focus, very easy fix. Please just mouse over the video, click the gear icon in the bottom right hand corner, then change, then change the resolution to 720p HD. Again, if you're seeing, seeing anything be blurry or hard to read or out of focus, mouse over the video, click the gear icon in the bottom right hand corner and change the resolution to 720p HD. Thanks guys. Awesome. So now let's start off first, before we dive into all of the techniques and strategies, let's really get clear on why online courses? Why are they a good choice to have in your business? Why are they valuable? And I guess for me, one of the best ways to explain it is, you know, a few years ago, I was working as a web designer and all of my work was one-on-one -on -one with clients. Type into the chat if you can relate to that or that's where you're at now. And one year it was my grandma's 90th birthday and all my friends and family decided that we were gonna get together, fly back home to Canada and throw this massive surprise party for her. So it's the morning of her birthday and that's what we did. And I rolled out of bed and I checked my emails and I got probably one of the most dreaded emails I think anyone that is doing one-on-one -on -one work can get, which was I had a client that said, hey Jess, uh, we love our website, but we have some changes that we want done. ASAP. And my stomach dropped when I read that because I knew exactly what that meant. While all my friends and family were basically partying it up with my 90 year old grandma, I was stuck at home feeling so stressed and overwhelmed. And that was a pivotal moment for me when I realized that time is extremely valuable. And then, you know, I started transitioning to courses and this is where they come into play. But that's not it. There's actually several different options of why courses are valuable. First one is you can make an extra 1K, even replace your full-time income, just with an online course. So type in the chat. I want to know what are your goals? So when it comes to your monthly income goals for your online course, type into the chat, A, if it's 500 to 1K, B, 1K to 3K, C, 3K to 5K, all the way up to E, which is 10K plus per month. Um, and just so you know, I'm actually going to be coming back to this and we're going to show you how to work backwards so you know how you can actually reach that. Um, all right. So people are saying in the chat, what are people are saying here? So there's a good diversity coming in. So um, I'm seeing lots of Bs and Cs, a few Ds and Es. Um, and you have to remember as well, even if you're not saying D and E off the bat, just having a few thousand to a few hundred dollars per month in income can really have a transformative effect on your life. Uh, and someone even says F. Well, that, that's nice. going to be great. This is awesome, guys. All right. Second reason is with an online course, you do the hard work up front. So it's not a get rich quick scheme. But the key point here is that your course then becomes an asset. So because it's a digital product, yes, you put in the hard work up front but then you don't need to keep recreating it every time you want to sell a copy. So because of that, courses are extremely high leverage. Third, type in the chat, who here wants to be kind of famous? Now I'm only teasing, you're not going to be Zoolander famous, paparazzi is not going to follow you. Well, maybe, but with an online course, you do become this mini celebrity in your space. You gain credibility, you grow this incredible community around yourself. And I mean, if I think to one of our earlier teachers or instructors on Teachable. Her name is Jessica Sprague. She has a total of 80,000 people in all of her courses. So that is the equivalent of her being in a football stadium and having the entire stadium filled with people that know who she is and she's had some sort of a positive impact on their life. That could be you just from an online course. Fourth reason is you get results very quickly. So we have seen teacher entrepreneurs often make their first sales in the first one to two weeks. And I mean, if you compare that to, let's say, another form of sharing knowledge, like a book, let's say, that would take, let's say, a year, six months if you're really quick and you're really good. But then you'd only be able to sell each copy for maybe 10 to $15 a piece, maybe $20 if you're pushing it. Um, and it'd still take time to sell the copies to get the results. And fifth reason, you help a lot of people because you're no longer restricted to how many hours you have in a day. You can help change the lives of hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of people just from an online course. So I'd love to know where you guys are at out of those last five benefits that I listed, which is the most exciting for you. What is the one where you're like, 
that is why I want to do online courses or incorporate online courses in my business. So typing into the chat, what about you, Cam? Well, for me, I think the most exciting benefit is just the scale, the reach. And I think of it like this. I had an amazing teacher in high school, and it would have taken him 20 years to reach 1,000 students. Whereas on Teachable, we see people reach 1,000 students in less than 24 hours. So just the scale, the reach, and how quickly it can happen, that is the most incredible thing to me. Oh, and we have people in chat chiming in right now, talking about reaching more people, seeing issue, um, reason number four and five, making money to fund their dreams, making a difference in other people's businesses and lives. All right, guys, thanks for sharing. Thanks, guys. All right, now maybe you care, but maybe you don't. Um, but we'll do it really quickly. I am Jess and I lead partnerships at Teachable, where we've had over 7,000 people that have created well over 20,000 online courses. And... Hey guys, I'm Cameron. So I'm the head of sales here at Teachable, but I actually started off on our customer care team. So I've helped in everyone from individual entrepreneurs to large Fortune 500 businesses get started on Teachable. Super excited to share my expertise with you guys today. And as a team, we have watched over 20,000 course launches, like I was saying, but that means that we have access to the hard data for all of our schools. We've interviewed our top instructors. We've picked their brains. We solved their support issues we've seen what works and well what doesn't and we've come to one pretty incredible conclusion but before i can get to that i need to know that you guys are still with me type into the chat right now if you want to know what that is and you're still with me and i can see here everyone that we have live uh let's see people are typing the chat okay yep it looks like you guys are ready for it all right there is one tried and true tested method for building and launching your course, one. And out of our over 7,000 active teachers, the most successful ones all use basically the same seven step process. And that's exactly what I'm gonna be walking through today. So let me know how that sounds. Here it is, my friends, these seven steps to creating a profitable online course. I would encourage you to take a screenshot of this because this is a blueprint we're gonna be following today. So step one, we need to find out what your most profitable course idea is. Two, we need to set your income goals so you know how you're actually gonna get your income and your revenue. Three, we're gonna talk about how to grow your course audience, building your email list, and we're giving you guys strategies straight from our playbook. Four is pricing your course, but the right way. Five is you're actually gonna be creating your school live on this webinar and how to create a high converting sales page. And then six, we're gonna talk about creating and recording a course that people love. And then finally, step seven is launching your course, which is everyone's favorite, but I'm gonna be giving you guys an entire course marketing plan and a calendar to follow. So I'm gonna show you exactly what to do on every single day, what emails to send, like the whole shebang. All right, so there's only three categories of people and I want you to pay close attention to which one you fall under. So first category is you're excited, but you have no idea what you want your course to be and you just don't know where to start. Two, maybe you have an idea of what you want your course to be about, but now you just need help refining and tweaking that idea. And three, maybe you have a ton of ideas, but now you just need to figure out which is gonna be the most profitable course idea. So type it into the chat, um, cause Cam, it's really interesting to see how many people um, or like where everyone is at? So we do see mostly twos and threes generally here. Um, but if you're a one, don't worry. This webinar is built even for people who don't have any idea yet. All right, answers are coming in so far. And like I said, I'm seeing mostly twos and threes. Um, but again, if you are a one, that's totally fine. We're here with you as well. Awesome. All right, so this is one of our earlier teachers. Uh, by earlier, I mean one of our first teachers. Uh, her name is Angela Fur, and she started off making $2,000 a month. She's now making up to $8,000 just from an online course. Um, but really important thing to note here, Angela's courses are on watercolor painting. And I love this example because I don't know about you, Cam, but for me, I thought that in order to have a successful online course, I had to teach people how to make money because that's the only thing people would invest in. 
But like since coming here to Teachable, like we can see there's so many different topics, thousands in fact, that we've seen successful. Like the foundations of card magic, practical cartooning for technical folks, there's nutrition, florals and watercolor, like the list goes on. But let's focus on you now. How do you find what your most profitable course idea is? So let's workshop this together. Uh, type into the chat as your ideas are coming in so you guys can support each other and you can see what everyone's at. But what are you good at? What are you passionate about? What are things that you're already interested in? Are there things that you've done, skills that you have? Um, and it doesn't necessarily need to be like what you studied in school. Because as an example, I have a friend who is very stylish and you know, fashion isn't my forte. I try, but I just can't get it to work. So I'm always asking her for tips. And I always say to her, you should have an online course on this. She doesn't have a degree in fashion design or whatever. She's just really passionate about it and she's good at it. So think of things like that. What are you good at? What do you like? So I'm looking in the chat here. There's bookkeeping and accounting. Emily, we could be friends. <laughs> uh, Omar is good at teaching. Uh, Marilyn says aromatherapy for over 32 years and many certifications. Writing and peer review says Rui. Training my friend for 10 years. Time to go online. Yes, yes, Dion. Awesome. Guys, so you can see there's so, and even just from the chat here, you can see how many different niches and topics there are. But as we're doing this, I'm sure this has come up. This is a very common myth and I love to debunk it, which is, you're probably thinking, well, I have a ton of things that I'm passionate about, but I just don't feel like I have any ideas where I'm enough of an expert to sell an online course on that topic. Let me know if you have felt or you're feeling that. Um, I think a common way of describing it is imposter syndrome. But you know what, Teachable, we love data and we love facts. So we decide to see what does expert actually mean? And this is a dictionary definition. It's having or showing a special skill or knowledge because of what you have been taught or experienced. Key point there, what you have been taught or experienced. It does not say that you are the world's best expert at a specific topic. And this is actually very important to note because, I mean, if I think back to when I was in school, uh, you know, there's certain topics that, again, were not my forte. And one year I had a teacher who was quite literally a genius. He was so smart. He had a PhD in what he was teaching. And I really struggled in his class. And every time I would ask for help and I'd ask questions, even when he tried to explain the answers to me, even his explanations were still too far advanced that I could even grasp on the concept. So what I soon realized was if I turned to my friend, who is literally two steps ahead of me, she not only was able to help me understand how the things were working, but she understood where I was at. So she got where I was struggling. She got all of the hurdles that I was facing. So if you think about you as a teacher, you're actually extremely valuable to your students, even if you are just two steps ahead because you can relate to where they are at. And then the most important part of any online course is the butterfly effect. Now, it's obviously not the movie, but you want to provide a transformation for your students. So people aren't investing in the amount of videos you have or modules or whatever it is that you're including. All that your potential customers or students care about is what can they expect at the end of the course? What is that outcome? So we have Charlie Hohen, his transformation is how to land a job you love. Jessica Sprigg is learn how to create a digital scrapbook in 30 days. So I have a poll for you and I'd love for you to type into the chat, true or false. The more information you teach in your course, the more valuable your course is. True or false, what are you guys thinking? You know, I think that Jess personally, that this is false. I think that quant so I think that quality is more important than quantity. In fact, the way that I've gotten this heard before is one moment of aha is worth hours of blah blah. Mm -hmm. That is a tweetable. Unfortunately, Cameron is not on Twitter, so you cannot tweet him on that quote. Um, but I love that. Uh, and okay, you guys are awesome. Yep, everyone's like false, overwhelm, false. I think it's the way it is presented. You know this, absolutely. Your course does not need to have a massive amount of information and really a good online course actually simplifies things and it cuts through the information to find out what is important. 
And it's a shortcut to an outcome because, you know, no matter what you're teaching, people could probably go online and figure out how to do it for free, but it would take them a long time. It would be expensive and frustrating, most likely. So there's actually a lot of value in being able to simplify and aggregate and help people sort through the noise. So to find your profitable course idea, step one, you want to write down the topics you're passionate about, skills that you have, things that you've done. Two is you need to figure out the outcome that you're going to provide your students. And three, you want to choose the most impactful transformation. All right, guys. So we just finished step one. And yes, I know if you're sitting here and you're like, that was a lot, that was really long. Don't worry. The first step is always going to feel like the longest. And this is just because I need to ensure that you have a strong and solid foundation to build off of because without a good course idea, the rest is useless. So let's transition now to step two, which is setting your income goals. Now, the easiest way to launch a course is really to build a small but engaged email list. And this is of people who are genuinely interested in your topic. And then what you do is you launch your course to that list. But before you can launch your course and make money, you need to understand that there's this magic formula behind how you make money selling courses. And this is what it is. I would take a screenshot of this or write it down. We need to know what your revenue goal is and then work backwards. So we need to figure out how many subscribers you're gonna need on your email list, the conversion rate, so that is the percentage of people that turn into paying customers, and the price of your course. So I'm gonna come back to that in just a second, but just understand that when you have a list of fans who know, they like, they trust you, guys, it is so much easier to hit your income goals and then launch your course to them. So now I am curious, who here already has an audience? Type into the chat and let me know. And if you're at zero, type in zero. Let's see, answers are coming in now. Do, do, do. Oh, and by the way, guys, we do, one thing that's pretty key is even if you don't think you have an audience, you might already. So some people tell me they don't have an audience and then they have a few hundred Facebook followers and they've got 20 people on Twitter and they've got 15 people subscribed to that old blog and 100 people on LinkedIn. When you add up, it becomes pretty decently sized. But the answers are coming into the chat right now. We're seeing a lot of people saying zero. And again, that's totally fine. A few people with the thousands like Karen, Omar is an email data database of 8,000, 419, 3,000, 40 followers on Facebook. So a big range as you're seeing right now. Awesome. Love it. And yeah, guys, just so you know, um, we're actually going to assume that you're starting at zero. If you have an audience, you have a bit of an advantage again, but you can go from zero to an audience of 500, even a few thousand people pretty quickly. So, I mean, I'm going to show you how to do that within 10 to 14 days. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's come back to this formula. So we're going to assume that your course is priced at $200, $300. For this one, let's just say $300. Your conversion rate is going to be 2%. Now, 2% is really an industry average. It's considered good. Um, and I don't want you to overestimate and then be disappointed. So to represent 2% in the formula, we are putting 0.02. Now, let's say that your goal was to make $5,000 from your course. That would mean that you'd need to sell 17 copies, but that breaks down to having 850 people on your email list. Now, if you've slowly transitioned into Facebook and you're scrolling through your newsfeed, I want you to come back to this slide and really look at this. So many times people think that they need to have tens of thousands, 20,000 people on their email list to start making money. And that is not the case. 850 email list subscribers, 2% conversion rate, buying your $300 course, and you only need 17 people in the entire World Wide Web to purchase it. And I honestly think everyone can do this, including you. So I'm going to show you how to do that in step three. So just to recap, step two, now you know that magic formula, you know how to reach your income goal. But now we need to know in step three is, well, how do you build the audience? How do you find the people that you're gonna sell your course to? And every successful course creator on Teachable is, if you can believe it, doing it in the same proven way, which is that you need to give away free value, whether that is free content, a piece of your course, 
in exchange for someone's email address. And then you're going to have people ready to have to buy your premium paid course a couple weeks later. But I guess the best or worst analogy that I have of this, type into the chat, who here goes to Costco? I know my mom and I do. Cameron, is it still the cool thing to do? Uh, yes, Jess, maybe it's not cool, but I also <laughs> go to Costco with my mom. Excellent. So yeah, you guys can let me know or you can make fun of me. That's fine. It's cool. Um, but I want you to imagine right now that you are going to Costco and you're walking down an aisle and someone comes up to you that works there and says, Hey, I have these box of cookies that I'm selling for $20. Would you like to buy them? Now, I don't know about you, I love cookies, but if someone said that, my first reaction would be, well, no, I've never tried them and that seems expensive. However, I want you to imagine that you're now walking down an aisle and someone comes up to you and says, hi, I have these free samples of cookies. Would you like to try them? Now, let's say that it is the most delicious cookie you've ever tasted. Now, do you think you're gonna be more inclined Two, one, spend $20 on the box of cookies? And the answer is yes. And it's the exact same principle when it comes to growing your audience to then sell your course. Now, we have 18 strategies that we use for an email list. And this is in our flagship course called A Profitable Teacher. I'm going to give you three of them right now, though. And this course, by the way, this is like a premium course. We sell it for $348. I'm literally giving you our strategy straight from this course for free. So let me know if that sounds good. Method number one is the giveaway. So with the giveaway, it's a great thing to do uh, because you can grow your email list pretty quickly. Um, I would encourage that you check out software like uh, King Sumo, that's K-I-N-G-S-U-M-O, or Gleam.io. Gleam is G-L-E-A-M, Cam can put it in the chat. Um, and these are great things to use for giveaways because how it works is you start your giveaway, and someone enters their email address. But once they do that to be entered in the giveaway, they're then prompted to share it on social media for additional entries. And what you'll find is that your giveaway starts to go viral because everyone is sharing it for extra entries. Um, now, the trick with a giveaway is to ensure that the prize that you're offering is very specific to your target audience. Um, and this is because if you, let's say, are giving away something extravagant like an iPad, which it does not need to be, but if it if you were, um, you'll get a bunch of people entering your giveaway that want a free iPad, but they're not going to care when you say you're launching your course because they're not your target audience. Second method is the mini course. So let's say that your premium course is $300 and it's called How to Plan a Trip to Italy. What you can do let's say you've got 10 modules in the course, at no additional work is offer one of those modules for free. And what happens is when you do this, so you've just you know created a mini course with what you already have, you can instantly put hundreds if not thousands of happy students in your free mini course. You start to build a really good audience. You deliver a ton of value. You start building a relationship with them but you can then use your feedback for testimonials to help you sell your premium paid course. So you now have added this whole social proof. Um, of course, always check with the people that you can use their testimonials and their feedback. And then you've got an audience that are excited for your paid course. An example of someone who did this was Angela Fur. Again, she is our watercolor painting teacher. She has free courses. And then once people go through that, if they want to learn more, they can then join her premium paid courses. All right, so method number three is the webinar. Very similar or exactly as to what you're on now. And webinars are an incredible way to grow your audience. But the key point here is that this webinar or these webinars that you're doing are really educational workshops. So you want people to show up to your webinar and be able to get value regardless of if they purchase from you or not. If you don't want to be the only person that is on the videos, you could also do something like a summit. So you are interviewing other experts and other people um, to talk about a certain topic. Now, there's 18 strategies, like I said, but I've just given you guys three. Let me in the chat, who here thinks they can do one, even two of those? And I'd love to know which one you are planning on trying. 
And then after you do this over a 10 to 14 day period, you have your list. And then later in step seven, I'm going to show you how to launch your course. And again, I'm giving you an entire course marketing calendar to follow. But before we get ahead of ourselves, we just talked about growing your audience. Now let's talk about a very important topic, which is pricing. So type into the chat who here is considering making their course less than $100. So who here is thinking like the $20 mark, $40 mark? Uh, type into the chat and let me know. And when I first started Teachable Jess, I thought that I was going to see every course was like $5, $10, $20. After all, that was the price that I saw on platforms like Udemy. And I thought that that was how you made sales. Make it cheap enough to be an impulse buy. But since starting at Teachable, I found that it's actually a little bit different than that. Interesting looking at the answers here. Karen says $15. Omar says $299. Thinking $50. Dion's like, no. <laughs> yep. Okay. Interesting. So I'm going to share with you guys a strategy that we have seen be very successful. Um, really, if you're just starting out with your first product. And that is that the best way to hit your revenue target is to use premium pricing. So this is what we call the Rolls Royce effect. You want people to look at your course like the Rolls Royce of online courses versus this, you get what you pay for, beat up car. Now, I know that sounds cool and everyone wants to be the Louis Vuitton of online courses. However, we actually decided to look through our top selling instructors and the average price of their courses, $272. I know. And I mean, we have some that are over $1,000, but notice how there's like the prices of these are the most successful instructors and their prices are premium price levels. And when you use premium pricing, a couple of things happen. First of all, it's easier to hit your income goals because you don't have to make as many sales. Your students get better results though, and they're more fun to work with. And this is because people have invested in your course. They made a conscious decision. It wasn't an impulse buy. And that means that, you know, they're going to take the time to go through the work, do the work and ask questions. Now let's talk about your goals. So if you wanted to make a thousand dollars, two examples of premium pricing. If you charge a hundred dollars, you have to make 10 sales that month. If you charge 500, you only need to make two. Next, let's say you charge or you want to make $5,000 a month. If you charge 100, you have to make less than two sales per day. And if you charge 500, you only need to make 10 sales. Now, I want to know, do you guys think those, those goals are approachable when we actually break them up? Um, let me know. And finally, Cameron, are you ready to do some Tony Robbins? I am ready for some Tony Robbins. I'm actually joking. This isn't Tony Robbins, but we're going to pretend it is. I want everyone to the chat right now to type I will charge more, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Um, this is really though, because I want you to really value your course, the time you put into it, your knowledge, the value that you're offering your students. And this comes down to knowing you will charge more. <laughs> you guys are awesome. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was like, I'll charge more. Great, thank you guys. All right. So we have just done step four, which is pricing your course. You guys have all promised and you are still promising that you will charge more, virtual high five. Now let's go into creating your school. And just remember in this step, we are gonna be doing this together. You're gonna have your school created by the end of it. Now there's five things that you need when you put your course online. Uh, number one is you want it to be absolutely beautiful, but you wanna be able to create it in less than an hour, even if you have zero technical expertise. Two, make sure you have your own domain name. So that means like yourcourse.com or yourname.com um, versus someone else's domain because it doesn't look professional. Three, you want to make sure your course is mobile optimized. So this means that if I were to look at your course site on my phone, on a tablet, on a computer, that it should all display nicely. And four, this is actually probably one of the most important ones. Make sure you have total control over your students' data and emails. Now, I do not like to point fingers and say names, 
Um, but this is just how Teachable got started. Our founder and CEO on court, he was on Udemy. He had some courses. And one day he noticed that he had this massive spike of students for his courses. Now, I mean, for any teacher, that is a very exciting thing to see. What was interesting, though, was that when he went to look in the back end of his school uh, or his courses, his revenue wasn't changing. So he contacted them and they explained that, well, no, you're not making money because we're promoting your courses for free. It's great exposure. Um, and that was enough for him to see that this is not a smart choice if you are an entrepreneur. So he made Teachable, which was all like focused for the instructors and the entrepreneur and business owner. Um, but what made it even worse was that once he did that, he did not have access to the email addresses of his students. So, you know, Udemy owned them and that meant that he had to start from scratch. So honestly, no matter how you create your course, please promise me you will ensure you have that control over your students' data and emails. And then finally, make sure you can accept payments on day one. And I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. If you were thinking like, well, how am I gonna find a platform that can do all of this, that is beautiful and user-friendly, I might be biased, but you can do this on Teachable. So Cameron's actually gonna show you right now and we're gonna have a quick win. We're all gonna create our school together and type in done in the chat once you've done this. All right, guys. So again, like Jess said, if you already have a school on Teachable, this is when you can sit back a little bit, have a cup of tea, and watch as this gets done before you. Now, if you don't have a school on Teachable yet, follow alongside me and then type done in the chat when you're done. So again, follow alongside me and type done in the chat when you're done. So step one, believe it or not, is going to teachable.com. Again, that's just teachable.com. Now, once I'm here, I'm just going to click the big orange get started button. So I'm going to put in my full name here, Cameron Mattis, and I'll see you all on LinkedIn. I always get tons of requests after these. I don't know about you, Jess, but my email address, Cameron7steps71817 at teachable.com. And now I'm just going to put in the password. Sorry, guys, can't tell you what that is. Agree to our terms of use and privacy policy, which make it very clear that you own and control everything. And last but not least, all I need to do is put in a name for my school. And you can change all this information later, so I'm just gonna do something boring, like teachable, seven steps, 71817. I'm just gonna click create new school, and that's it. That's all I had to do. Even with my corny jokes, it took me about 15 seconds. Now, back in the day, you used to have to build a website and buy a domain name and purchase web hosting, then code the site on your computer and upload it with FTP and all, oh man. But nowadays, you just fill out that form and it's all done for you. So again, if you did that alongside me, type done in the chat. Thanks again for following along. It means a lot. And I'm already seeing people type in done. So thanks, guys. Awesome. Wow, you, there's a lot of you guys doing this. Great. Um, all right, let me go back to sharing my screen. All right, so now that you have your school, we need to talk about course sales pages because we want to be sure that we create one that actually converts. And we found that there's six things that you need for a high converting sales page. So first of all, you have your title and your subdescription. But for your title, don't just have it be a vague title of your course. Really hone in on the transformation and make that clear in the copy. Then you'll see that underneath that, there's like this watch promo button. If you click on that, this video pops up. And if there's one thing that you take away from this, I hope that it is this, always find a way to include video on your sales page. It will convert so much better because people want to see who is behind this course. They want to know that there's a real person. They want to know if they even resonate with your teaching style, your personality. So ensure that you have it there. This video is obviously professionally filmed. It does not need to be though. Next, we've got your description. So you can talk about your course, you know, what is happening inside it, the modules, but the real important part here is communicating to your audience why you understand their pain points, their struggles, and why you have the solution. Then we want testimonials because you know it's one thing for you to say how amazing your course is. It's another to have someone who has gone through a very similar uh, struggle that your potential student has gone through, but they also got a result from working with you. And finally, 
have a payment plan. Now, this is extremely important, especially if you are using our premium price model, because not everyone is necessarily going to be able to afford, let's say $300 or $400 for a course. So by offering a payment plan, you allow them and it makes it more accessible. So why should you be so excited? Drum roll. Yes, you guessed it. I know you know this. That entire sales page was generated in minutes using Teachable. And it really is just a fill in the blank template. And we even automatically create a sales page for you, but you can customize it or make it from scratch if you want. And your sales page is where you're gonna send everyone steps. Again, you cannot see me, but I'm doing a virtual high five to the screen. Um, let's just recap though for our brains. So the very first step is we wanted to find what your most profitable course idea was. Step two was setting your income goals. And, you know, I showed you how to use that formula. Three was all about those three strategies for growing your email list and your audience. So the webinar, the mini course, the giveaway. Step four was using premium pricing. Step five, you guys are rock stars and you created your school. We talked about a high converting sales page. Now let's transition into step six, which is recording and creating your course. And then seven, which is everyone's favorite, launching. Now, when it comes to creating the course, I know you're thinking this. You're probably like, ugh, that sounds like a lot of work. But I have good news. It is not that hard. And I am going to show you the easiest way to create your course content which is first you want to create your course outline. So write down the process step by step that someone needs to go through to get whatever the desired outcome is that your course provides. So going back to our examples of when you guys were listing out ideas, um, how about that accounting and bookkeeping course? Um, what does someone need to do step by step to let's say file their taxes? That's a very bad example, but you know what I mean? And then each step in your outline becomes a section. Keep it to six to 12 sections though. Uh, you don't wanna do any more because then that becomes again, overwhelming. And then in each section is where you can put your video lectures. Now, if you're like, well, how do I create the content? The easiest way guys is to use PowerPoint or Keynote. PowerPoint if you're on a PC, Keynote if you're on a Mac, and you can just do slides with bullet points. And it's almost like if you were gonna do a live lecture or a TED talk or something like that. And then use a tool like a ScreenFlow on a PC, not on a Mac, Camtasia on a PC. And how it works is it actually records your screen, but also your audio. So you can talk through the workshop, going through it and it records a screen. Then you just export it and load it onto your Teachable School or wherever you're loading it. You don't need to do any fancy editing or any crazy effects or editing or anything like that. But other ideas, if you don't want to do that, you could do interviews with experts, cheat sheets, case studies, supporting materials, toolkits. Biggest thing though, is I hope that you see it doesn't have to be expensive or complicated to get a professional looking course. All right. Now, who is ready to get into the fun stuff and launch your course? I want everyone, and I can see you, everyone live on this chat, I want everyone to type in heck yes into the chat if you're ready for this. Uh, you can even type in drum roll if you're just like waiting eagerly. Um, type into the chat. And Cameron, are you ready? I am ready. I am excited. And I just typed something the wrong way around, so I need to just go fix that. <laughs> nice. Uh, Kathy says, heck yes. Bez. Beck, sorry, it's far away, so I can't really see it. Heck yes, uh, Rui, you're awesome. Okay, yeah, you guys are, Dion says boom. All right, guys, you've convinced me. Let's do this. Step seven, launching your course. Now, do you remember way back in step three? Way back, I showed you how to build your email list. Now you're gonna launch your course to that list of your new raving fans. And, you know, experimentation is great, but I think sometimes, it's just better to follow a proven plan that works. And I just wanna give you a simple, but very effective launch calendar right now, which is the easiest way to make money with your course is to break it up into two steps over a 30 day period. This is the secret sauce here, guys. You're breaking it up into two different steps. I know this is gonna blow your mind. So first, 
you need to build a small initial email list over a one to two week period. And then you don't go into the launch until the following one to two weeks. And for your first launch, keep things smaller. You know, you can make five to 10K or more on your first course launch just by launching to a small list of a few hundred people. So here it is. The first one to two weeks is the education phase. So for eight days, you're giving nothing but pure value, whether that is blog posts, a webinar, you can do your giveaway here, your mini course. And at the end of this phase, people are going to know that you can help them because you have. They're going to want your course because as you can see here, now you're starting to generate a demand for your premium course. You show people what the pain is of not having it and then the gain they can have from working with you. And then the most important one is they trust you. And they trust you because you've earned it. You know, there's no sneaky marketing tactics here. You genuinely for eight days straight have to give nothing but value, ensuring that people get these wins regardless of if they purchase from you or not. I know that seems counterintuitive, but trust me, this works because then you're going to have an audience of 500, a thousand or more of which a percentage are going to be ready for your course. And that is when you transition into the sales phase. So this is our eight day launch phase. We jokingly call it our crazy launch because for eight days you are sending eight emails, but you're not going to go crazy because I'm actually going to tell you what to put into those emails right now. So this is what the email schedule blueprint looks like. Um, and I know what you're thinking. There's going to be some of you that are thinking eight emails for eight days. Isn't that kind of spammy? Isn't that like too much overload? And the trick with this is that our emails are specifically crafted to give value to the person that is reading it. So it's not eight days of saying, buy from me, buy from me. These are very strategic emails and I'm explaining that right now. So day one. This is a course teaser. So you mentioned you're going to be launching a course, but people can't buy it just yet. Day two, you explain what is in the course. So you can see leading up to this, people are getting really excited. They're getting eager. They want to learn more. Then finally, day three is where you say course is open for enrollment. That's when people can join. You direct them to the sales page. Day four, you say, is this course right for me? You can answer FAQs. Um, and with your FAQs, you're actually addressing objections that people have. So what are things that people might be thinking that would be holding them back from joining your course or holding them back from knowing if it's the right thing for them? Day five, you can add in a surprise bonus. So let's say you send out an email and you could be like, hey, just so you know, everyone that joined my course is now going to get this additional bonus valued at whatever. Day six, you have a thank you and social proof. So you want to thank the people that have joined your course. And if you can, try to get some screenshots of emails that you've received from them or tweets that they've sent to you or however, um, to show that the people that are joining your program are getting results. Day seven is you have a logical argument for why your course makes sense. You know, and be very honest here. Say something like, Look, my course is not for everyone because it's not, but it is for you if, and then you can list it out there. And then finally, day eight is where you say your enrollment is closing, last chance to buy. Um, you can send an extra one to two emails too if you want. All right, so this is what it looks like. This is the calendar. Take a screenshot of it. Um, you know, you can also add additional bonuses like day 13, day 16. You could add in an extra webinar. And what you'll find is that the money will typically come in spurts. So uh, the first day, you're going to see a lot of sales or well, a lot of sales as in like more than you would have expected, but it will drop. And this is normal. Expect it to. Um, you'll get the most sales though on the very last day. So don't panic if let's say on one day you see that it's next to nothing. I mean, we was talking to one of our, someone who has made six actually seven figures now from their online courses. Uh, but one of their six figure launches, there is one day where they had zero sales. So please do not panic if this happens. Okay. So I love this example. I need to share it with you. Um, this is Lee who was on our seven steps webinar a while ago. Um, just like you are right now, he went through the entire process, 
must have taken some extremely detailed notes, but he actually applied a crazy eight launch to his course. And his list was 1400 people. He ended up having this final sale or signups of 244 people. Now results aren't typical, obviously, that's a very high conversion rate, but I just want you to see that when you do take action on everything that I just shared with you, you're gonna get results. All right, guys, we did it. That was the entire seven steps. Uh, we're gonna get into the q in just a few minutes, but first I wanna talk about you. So what has been your biggest takeaway? I want to know, like, what was it in this webinar, if anything, that you learned that was new or gave you an idea or that you're excited about? Um, type it into the chat because, I don't know, Cam, it's really interesting seeing where people are at and what they got from it. Okay, guys, thanks so much. Um, I really appreciate you taking the time to chat with us today. And let, I'd love to get your questions answered, okay? Uh... All right, and everyone is typing in already, um, saying that it's really easy to set up, saying that the eight-day launch phase was like doable, saying uh, that our strategic emails are a good idea, the same thing with the calendar. All right, guys, thanks so much. This is great, guys, thank you. But I hope the biggest takeaway that you get, you know, there's a lot of things you guys have said you've learned, is that you can do this. I mean, like I said, looking at uh, Lee that I showed you, like there's so many people that when you take action on this, no matter where you are at, you're going to get results. Now, I know we've covered a lot. So who here kind of feels like this? Just information overload. Type into the chat if you're like, this is exciting, but I I don't know. My There's just so much here. Because if that is you, how many of you guys want me just to get rid of that overwhelm and just give you our exact easy to follow process for launching your online course? Because as I mentioned earlier, to create your course, there's very two very important things that you need. One, you need a proven plan to follow from people who've actually done it, who've actually gotten results, but you also need a way to create your online school. So this is where we've combined two extremely helpful things. I'm really excited for this. Uh, and if you wanna figure out a course topic that people are gonna love, you wanna become more well-known in your space, you wanna increase your credibility, you wanna grow your income, but a much more scalable way, and you wanna help a lot of people and build a community around yourself, but you want to do all this in the next 30 days, guys, this teachable bundle is going to be specifically for you. Now, everything you're going to get, first of all, you get our professional plan. Now, this alone you should be excited about because this is our most popular plan. You get unlimited courses and students. You can have 100% customizable look and feel, full e-commerce to accept payments. You can track the progress of your students, email marketing, advanced reporting, there's drip content. Most importantly, guys, 0% transaction fees not a zip no matter how much money you make on this plan we will not take any transaction fees when you integrate your own payment gateway and you get instant payouts and then once you have the number one software to deliver your online course you're going to need a step-by-step -step plan to help you create and launch your course and this is where and i brought this up earlier but this is our profitable teacher course so it's a value of 348 dollars and it's everything that we covered in this webinar, but in so much more depth, it really holds your hand through the entire process. And it shows you how to exactly have your first five figure course launch. And I mean, we're really going through everything. You get a step-by-step -step course marketing plan, our proven 30 day launch calendar, things like checklists, templates, downloads. It's literally like plug and play. Like you don't need to think about what to do. You just follow all the steps. And then after you go through this program, you'll have successfully created your first profitable online course with real students and revenue. And that is not all. You're also going to get our course creation workshop series. So this is from incredible creators and entrepreneurs like Mariah Cause, who has workshops on how to find or how to have your first $5,000 launch, how to choose an irresistible course topic, Melissa Griffin talks about how to put a high converting sales funnel together for your course. Kayla Bogic, who is Pat Flynn's videographer, if any of you guys know Pat Flynn, um, he shows you how to create your own beautiful videos for your course on any budget. And Sean McCabe shows how to grow your business with writing. Plus there's six more incredible workshops to keep growing your business. And then on top of that, on the professional plan, you get eight weeks of live group coaching calls. And this is with our teachable team, their teachable experts. And I mean, these are pretty small groups. I mean, we don't get more than a dozen people at a time. So you can actually hop on 
ask your question, do screen shares, get support. And on top of that, if that wasn't enough, we're also including two one hour sessions of concierge onboarding. So you have an onboarding specialist show you just you how to set up your school for you. And you can go through each of the courses at your own pace that way, because I know we're all busy, you can fit it into your schedule. All that I need from you though, is to watch the videos. Do the action items that we tell you, ask questions, get really involved because when you take action on all this, trust me, you're gonna get results and you're getting the exact software that thousands of Teachables instructors have used to grow their online course business. So everything you're getting today, I'm not gonna read it all, but you get our professional plan. So that alone is valid at $99. And I mean, I would just go for that now anyways, but because you're here on this webinar, we're also gonna include our profitable teacher course, our course creation workshop series, the one hour sessions of concierge onboarding and eight weeks of live group coaching calls. That is a value of over $1,200. And those are genuine values. A lot of the times you'll go onto a webinar and they're like, yeah, this is valued at $300 and it's just made up. After this webinar, you can go onto our website. You can purchase each of these things separately. We actually sell them for that price. But again, cause you're on this webinar, when you upgrade to our professional plan, so that's $99 a month, you can cancel at any time. We're gonna give you that full course, all those bonuses as a gift, completely free. Now, if you're not quite ready for the professional plan, but you're still super eager to get results with your course and use Teachable, you can upgrade to the basic plan, that's $39 a month, and still get all of those bonuses. Big exception though is you won't be able to get the concierge onboarding or the coaching calls, um, but you'll get the course bonuses. And the basic plan is most of the awesome features um, like the professional, but there are some big differences. Really, we say the basic plan is for people that aren't really thinking about selling online courses on Teachable. They just wanna like check out the platform. So you have the same things, like you can have your own affiliate program, you can customize it, but this is very important to know, there's a 5% transaction fee when you make sales and you get paid out every 30 days or a month after your sales come in. So there is a big difference. If you're planning on making one or two sales from your course, honestly, the professional plan makes most sense. Now, what I want you to do next is if you're just like right now shaking your head and you're like, oh my gosh, yes, click the buy now button above to get all those bonuses. And it still gets better. I know it sounds cheesy, but it does because it's a hundred percent money back guarantee. Like we are very specific on who we have on Teachable and we want to ensure that our customers are people that are going to be getting results and they're succeeding. So we want you to take 30 days to go through everything. You can set up your school, you can download everything. And if by the end of the time you decide it's just not right for you, let me know, we'll give you a full refund. There's no questions asked. It's hundred percent risk-free. And finally, it does get better because we have two additional bonuses just for you for being on this webinar live. Now, if you upgrade before the end of this live webinar, so if you're watching the replay, I'm sorry, this doesn't apply. First bonus, you're gonna get our private Rolodex for online course resources. So these are the exact people that we use when we need help. You cannot get access to this in any other place. Plus you get exclusive access to our VIP Facebook group for the profitable teacher. So these are people that have gone through the profitable teacher course. You can see what people are doing for the launches, ask questions, get supports, share your wins. I mean, it is such an incredible group. And both of those fast action bonuses, yes, they come with both the basic and professional plan upgrades. So everything you're getting, I'm not gonna read this, but you're getting our plan plus all of those courses and bonuses. This is a value of over $1,700 just from upgrading to our professional plan or basic. All right, I love this example. Again, this is Fiona. Um, she said, after two weeks of relentless periscoping, a free workshop, tweeting, and marketing, 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 she closed registration to her first course on Teachable, 40 paid students, $97 a student. And as you can see, she was excited. Uh, she loved the platform. And I think the uh, reaction she got on her post speaks for itself. Alan, who, this was when he was first starting on Teachable. I mean, now he's making way more. Um, in less than 72 hours, he'd already made $6,000 in sales. And his course, just so you know, is how to fly your drone. Like very specific topic, very niche course. 
Now we're going to have our live Q and A in just a second, but what I want you to do next is because this offer that I'm showing you is not available publicly on our website, um, please type into the chat when you've upgraded so we can ensure you get all of these bonuses um, and just ensure you get them. So again, just click the buy now button above this video. And if you want to upgrade a pre-existing school, it's no problem. All you need to do is click the button above, choose the plan that you want, but rather than creating a new account, scroll down the page and click log in. And then after you do that, you're going to have an email, some very special links from us to access your bonuses. Now, if you're like me, you're probably sitting here and you're like, okay, what's the catch? Like, why is this offer so great? Why are you giving literally like $1,700 worth of bonuses? And I'll be completely transparent. It's because we're a software company. Um, I mean, when we first started, 30% of our revenue did come from selling online courses. But what we found was that the people, our customers that were using Teachable and doing our courses were getting better results on the platform. They were having bigger launches. They were succeeding more. And what that meant as we looked at the data was that those people that were making more money were staying on Teachable longer because they could afford to. So it is in our best interest to ensure that you know everything possible to ensure that you are making money on our platform. It's a win-win. You make money, we make money. That's why we do it. And if you need assistance once we're in, uh, we're here to help. This is actually our customer care team. It's not a stock photo. Um, and we're literally waiting to help answer your questions. All right, guys. So thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed this. Let us do our Q and A and answer your questions. All right. Now, guys, please, at this point, please type into the chat all the questions you have, whether they're about tech things, or like about how Teachable works or how you can do a certain thing, or whether they're marketing questions, which Jess is amazing at. So let us know in the chat. I want to make sure um, everything is going to be answered. Uh, Reed done. Awesome, Reed. Nice. Virtual Boom. high five. And real, real high, high five. five. There we go. The only catch is that you have to do it back to your screen. Otherwise, it just looks weird. Um, Maurice, how long do I pay the $39 per month? Maurice, however long you want. This is a subscription product. So for as long as you're using it, you, you pay us a monthly fee. It's the same as like, you know, want, like your cable or something like that. Um, Susan, I've set up my school, I think, with a free starter video. Can you guys check my quality? So Susan, um, we can't do that on the webinar right now, but shoot a note over to teachable.com slash help, mm -hmm. and our incredible customer care team will be happy to take a look and let you know if everything is looking up okay. Um, Rui, how does taxes work? VAT taxes work for EU customers. So Rui, um, we handle all VAT stuff automatically. So when customers check out, when they buy your courses, we'll automatically charge VAT on top of the purchase price based off of their country. And then if it's going over your gateways, you pay the VAT to the MOS authority. It's going over our gateways. We'll actually do the payment and filing ourselves. So that's one reason that people opt for our gateways. Um, so Hector says, how can we determine a course to teach? Um, so it's, it's really, again, what are you passionate about? What do you care about? What have you taught to others before? These are all things that you might think about. So a really good question about ScreenFlow, um, from Karen. I love ScreenFlow. Like I use it for all of my courses for recording. Um, but yes, the key point, it's not ScreenFlow. It's the mic you use. Um, we use a Blue Yeti, but I actually wouldn't recommend this now. Um, depending on where you're recording, because obviously you can probably hear, you can hear the echoes and the background noise. Um, if you get one that is a, oh, what is the word? I think it's like- Condenser? A condenser mic. And I, I'm not really good with mic terminology. Yes, um, but there's one, it's called like the Rode Lavalier, no. I'll, I'll find the name, post in our tribe, and I'll get the name. Oh, um, and speaking of tribe, every single oh, yeah. person here should join um, our private instructor Facebook group. So I'm just going to drop a link to the chat here. Um, this is our private instructor Facebook group. So please join it. There are over 15,000 people on it. Um, and you can be the next one. Susan says, I have Windows Media for videos. Will that work? Susan, I recommend something a bit more robust than that. Um, again, ScreenFlow and Camtasia both have built-in editors. Really quickly, it's the Audio Technica 2500 USB condenser microphone. Um, okay. 
So Rui says, is it better to launch only one premium in a free giveaway mini course rather than giving a couple of courses all at once? Rui, I'd start with one. It's much easier to scale than it is to kind of shrink. So if you're trying to do all these different courses and then later have to give some up and focus only on one, that's harder to do than launching with one strong course and like a free mini course for your list and then expanding from there. Um, Bez, you provide the payment gateway and shopping cart? Yes, mm -hmm. we do. Raymonda does have a garage basic. Awesome. Virtual high Ooh, five. And Real high five. And I saw someone up here upgrade to professional. Gene, thank you. I'm pretty sure people just upgrade to see this. <laughs> um, okay, Kathy says you don't have PayPal. Kathy, are you talking about your students paying you for your courses or are you talking about you paying us for the teachable subscription? Um, Hector, is, teach, is traffic also easy to get through the teachable platform? Hector, we don't market your courses for you. We're not a marketplace like Udemy where they, since they market the courses, they own the students and they can control your content. With us, we don't market your courses. We don't market your competitors' courses either. Where does the tech platform? That means you keep a much bigger cut. That means you control the pricing and the students. It's much better for everyone. Um, Eva says, do you have email integration or do we need to um, subscribe to AWeber, ConvertKit, et cetera? Mm -hmm. um, so we have a built-in email management platform for sending blast emails through the platform. Um, but if you want to send like automated email sequences and you want to have all this automation and different tabs and stuff, I would use an email service like ConvertKit or MailChimp or something like that. Um, Kathy, people paying you, we have PayPal built in. So people can pay you with PayPal. Um, so Bez, do people get to see our classes through your platform? Bez, yes, people go to, people log on to your, to your site to view your courses, but the courses are hosted on the Teachable platform. Kathy says, I'm talking about signing up for Teachable and the upgrade is having trouble, but I keep working on it to get in. Kathy, if you're unable to log in on that screen, shoot an email to support at teachable.com. Again, to support at teachable.com. We'll make sure to, that we get you logged in, that we get you all the bonuses. Oh, Kathy, you upgrading. Um, so Kathy, we, we do not accept PayPal for upgrades unless you're interested in an annual plan. If you're interested in an annual plan, let me know what email to reach you at um, and we'll take care of that for you. Um, so, oh, so Kathy, yeah, we, again, just to explain that our, 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 for PayPal, that doesn't work with like a monthly subscription. So we would have to invoice you for an annual plan. Um, Glad says, I'm in Canada. You need permission for marketing blast emails. Glad, this is this is true. Um, I know very little about this topic. It might be good to ask that in our private instructor Facebook group. I'll drop in another few links right now. Um, Bez, how many users does Teachable have? Bez, do you mean like how many students do Teachable courses have? Because the answer is north of 5 million at this point. If you're asking how many instructors are on the Teachable platform, it's in the low tens of thousands. Um, okay, Rob says, brand new to this. Any tips on what needs to be done to set up payments? Rob, the good thing is with Teachable, even if you don't do anything, you can already start taking payments because we'll process them on your behalf and then pay you out every 30 days via PayPal. So if you want, you can just leave it straight like that and never touch anything. If you want to do more, I would set up a Stripe account. Stripe is an amazing service, like the best payment processor I've ever used. Mm -hmm. And it's very easy to link to Teachable. Um... Marilyn says, if you start with basic, can you upgrade to professional later and still get the bonuses? Um, Marilyn, oh, you will sorry. not be able to upgrade to professional later to get the pro bonuses. You can upgrade to professional today to get all of the bonuses and then downgrade to basic later, but it doesn't work the other way around. But if you do, let's say, go to basic and you want to upgrade to prof professional, it's also prorated. So if you pay $39 and then tomorrow you want to do professional, you only pay the difference. Um, authorized.net, good way to use. We recommend Stripe. Um, we don't integrate with authorized.net. So if you sell your courses on using authorized.net, you would have to do that outside of Teachable and then give your students a free coupon to access it or something like that. Um, Hector, what is the volume plan? So Hector, the high volume plan, um, this is a few advantages of Pro and it's meant for really established course creators. One, you get higher priority support. Since there are fewer high volume um, students, people and and they are you know our top plan they get the fastest support we offer the second thing you get is bulk student enrollments which means that you can sell bulk licenses um, to organizations very easily and third you also get um up to 25 owners and authors in the school so you can have a team of 25 managing the school or you can have 25 authors contributing courses dion how do we get great affiliates um honestly to start i would actually say um get your students, have people go through your program and get results. 
those are the best people to be promoting your course because they can go up to their audience or their list or whatever and be like, look, this is what I got from working on this person's course. Trust me, it's the best investment you'll be able to make. Um, people that have actually gone through your program, those are the best ones because they're social proof um, and they've actually done it. So Marilyn, what I meant by that um, is if you upgrade today to the, to the basic plan, let's say you join us on the basic plan today, you'll get all of the basic bonuses. And then if a month from now you decide to upgrade to the professional plan, that's awesome and we'll, and we'll love that, but we can't give you the professional bonuses. The professional bonuses are for people who start on the professional plan. What I was saying is that you can start on the professional plan today and then decide later on to move down to the basic plan after you know a few months or something, and that's totally fine with us, um, but you don't get the professional bonuses for going for basic today. Um, Rui asks how you can send automated diplomas and certificates for 100% score. This is possible. We work with a third party provider for certificates. Um, if you go to support.teachable.com and then search for certificates, we've got a guide there walking you through setting that up. Oh, Kathy said she just worked it out, upgraded, and signed up to professional. Boom. Oh, to Kathy first. Virtual <laughs> high five and real, real high five. five. <laughs> you didn't put up the second hand, so there I was going like this. Oh, no, we try to like mix it up there. Oh, let's. Boom. Kathy, you got to like do this to the screen. Marilyn, thank you very much. You're welcome, Marilyn. I hope that makes sense to you. Awesome. Rue just got the bonuses. We try to be quick. Um, Carly, I started the professional plan and bonuses to the bonus have to be used in a set time. Will they expire? They will not expire. They're yours to use whenever you want. High five and back. Yay. That's what I like to hear. Dion Zapier. Um, yes, we integrate with Zapier, Dion. Oh. I love Zapier. Mm -hmm. um, it's great. I use it as much as I use Teachable. It was surprisingly easy, too. I used it for something, and it was very Have you never used Zapier before? Oh, oh God, so powerful. I, so I love it. Um, Serge, can I pay tax myself in my country? Serge, um, I know zero about your tax situation or your business situation, especially if it's in another country. Um, so I would please consult with a local tax professional to ask them about that. Carla, what is Zapier for? Carla, Zapier is basically the world's greatest middleman. So what it does is it connects together hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different web apps via an easy drag and drop interface. So you set up using Zapier rules or automations, which they call zaps. So a zap could be something like when this user joins my course on Teachable, um, then add their name to convert kit my list and tag them with the bot course tag. So it'll do those types of automations connecting all these different platforms. Hector is in professional. Awesome, nice. Hector. Welcome. Oh. Oh, you're leaving me hanging. Oh, me hanging. I'm, I'm going to give you like five for that. Um, um, and high season from South Africa. So glad when is a replay available. You should get it in just a few, um, in a few minutes. Um, but it can take up to 24 hours sometimes. Normally it's just a few minutes. Um, Marilyn, so excited. Just upgrade to professional. Uh, wait, Mar Marilyn, just to, just to be clear, you were if you upgrade to professional, you were billed today. You start your subscription today. I want to make sure that we're, we're clear on that. You're starting your subscription today. Um, you can cancel at any time and you can get a refund in the first 30 days, but you, you, you are billed today. Um, what did Bruce say? Um, don't pay tax. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can count that as also not official tax advice from Teachable. <laughs> um, Marilyn, what is the name of the group I should join right away? Marilyn, it's the Teachable Tribe. Um, and I'm just going to drop a link in here. Oh, except for unless you mean the... The Profitable Teacher Facebook group, that's linked to in the Profitable Teacher. You'll find it there. Yeah. Which we emailed you the link to the course. It's in Teachable Academy. All right, Eva, how long should the first course be? How many modules would you suggest? Eva, generally we recommend mini courses have half an hour or less of content, normally between like five and 15 minutes. Full courses, we recommend an hour to like four hours normally of content. And you can split that up however you want. We recommend having shorter videos and more of them as opposed to a few longer videos. It's better for people's attention spans. Yeah, less is definitely more. Um, Rui, are the giveaway apps suggested integrated with MailChimp? I think so. Um, Gleam.io and King Sumo. King Sumo definitely um, 
when I used King Sumo, I used a Weber to integrate it. So I'm assuming if they do Aweber, they must do ConvertKit, they must do MailChimp. Um, yes, Gleam allows you to send email subscribers to MailChimp. Okay, cool. Just looked that up on the internet. On the internet. Sure. Awesome. All right, so we've got just a few minutes left. So we'll take a few last minute questions before we wrap this up. What do you think, mm -hmm. Jess? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's an interesting question what you guys are typing in. Um, for the length of your courses, um, because it really is like, sometimes it's, it, you want to add so much information in your course, but honestly, if you have like three different wins that people can get in your course and having that be three individual smaller courses, um, your students are going to get so much better results because they're not going to feel overwhelmed. Um, and you can see that they're actually going to be going through the videos. Okay. So Rui says text and images versus video lectures. Um, I mean, personally, I think video is better. Um, it's just more engaging, um, especially now. But I mean, if you have a really good text document um, and it's engaging, you could try that. Um, but I think video is probably the way to go. Do, is there a list of which email companies do you integrate with? I mean, we, yeah, we basically um, integrate Anyone with- Anyone that Zapier integrates with. Mm -hmm. So if you go to zapier.com, they have this whole list of hundreds of them. Um, Carla, I am saying that there are two Facebook groups. There's a profitable teacher one, and then there's um, the general teachable one, um, the teachable tribe. Dion, either of you two want to move to South Africa? I've got a job for you. <laughs> that is great to know. If I ever have to flee the country, I'm heading straight there. Um, Rui, copyright issues with images. Rui, um, generally a lot of images can fall under fair use, um, but you should you should definitely ask for sort of some advice from a lawyer before you go ahead and, and do this. Um, as a photographer in a past life, I know that this can be a complicated issue. Um, Marilyn says, what was... How soon can I get the concierge appointment? Marilyn, there will be a link to schedule your concierge onboarding in your bonus email. Generally, they should be available like within like a day to 48 hours, something like that. Um, Kathy, do most classes do a mix of video, I think she said, and um, videos and recording over PowerPoint? I mean, it really depends. So there is like some courses where someone is showing you a skill like cake baking. Yeah, cake baking a cake. Um, and so we've seen the courses where the video is actually them show, it's like a cooking class. So they're showing, there's no PowerPoint, there's no like bullet points. They're just showing you how to do it. Um, but if you're doing more strategy or you're sharing something that you don't really need to see how it's done, um, then using PowerPoint is a good fit. Or if you're showing a technical skill, doing a screencast of your screen, that is um, good too. Serge, we actually run a webinar on Thursdays where we demo the product. So mm. you might look into joining in that. When you sign up for your for Teachable, you'll see the top thing says sign up for a free live webinar. If you click that, you'll be able to join our demo webinar. Carla, the concierge onboarding is different. So you get two hour long sessions of like this one on one concierge onboarding with a Teachable staff member helping you build your school. The weekly coaching sessions are these small group sessions that happen every Friday um, where we give advice and talk about things and, you know, just just really work together to help figure out problems and share success stories. And I think we'll just take one more question before we wrap this up. One more question. So again, these have been great, though. Yeah. Let us know in the chat. Love to get your questions answered. Marilyn, it'll all it'll all be explained in the email, okay? Mm, okay, so Rui says launch dates and periods of the year, holidays, et cetera, recommendation. Um, honestly, the best answer I'm gonna give you is that there's no perfect time to launch. Um, just because I think a lot of the times we and I did this, so I'm just I'm projecting, um, but a lot of the times we'll hold off on when we think a um when we think a good time to launch is and we'll wait and then we'll push it off even more honestly really i mean get to know your audience and it depends what you're selling so if your course is something that is very much related to a certain holiday like you're showing how to bake christmas cookies or gingerbread cookies 
obviously leading up maybe in November, like so before Christmas would be a good time. Um, but honestly, if you have an engaged list and you go through our crazy launch phase, um, it would be um, a great, like a great fit. Sorry, that answer your question. That was kind of rambly. Um, really just get your engaged audience, give them like the free video series or whatever you're doing, the education phase, then do the launch. You'll have people that are eager. Okay. All right. And I think with that, it is about time to wrap this up. So I just wanted to end by thanking everyone for joining us here today. Um, there are lots and lots of people out there who are interested in online courses, who think it's interesting or cool, but you actually took the time of your day to come learn something. And that's what matters most of all. So again, thanks so much. For, uh, thanks so much for everyone um, for, for joining us today. And um, on behalf of myself and Jess and everyone else here at Teachable HQ, take care and have a great one. Bye-bye. See you guys.